Hey people, Intrate here, 3v3, Estia Province, blue team. We have one of the old guard from the retail days is Asbandeus with a Farseer support hero fighting in melee, some powerful buffs and control, the Harley Quinn's elite scheme here. Alongside, Gaius Baltar as a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero, walking through objects cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee, Thousand Suns elite scheme. And rounding off the team here, up high Dow 3 is a mech boy, teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat, bunch of orky gadgets. And the red team, the entire Inquisition has shown up. We have Nightmare, 24, and Not Conrad. These are offensive and disruptive heroes with powerful control. Can get ranged weapons, but they begin in a melee stance. They've got sentinels all around for the red team. Guardians with guide on them. Hammer of the Witches comes in trying to kill one of those Guardians. Farseer now runs in. She wasn't happy about that. Special attack misses though. And Inquisitor chases them down. The Guardians that is. So we have the Talon Desert Raiders here for Nightmare. A cool elite scheme. Guardians are ducked into the bunker. Where they're pretty safe. I mean not impervious to damage. But it counts as somewhere between light and heavy cover I believe. Meanwhile. East side what's going on? Double shooters getting a Daka on. Sluggers with burners chasing off the Inquisitor of Not Conrad. Who is it then? Dave? We'll find out one day. Sentinel, you ready to stomp? Runs in like he's ready to stomp. There we go. Good stomp on the Sluggers. Knockback stun and a bit of damage. I think it's like... Is it like 30 damage or something? Doesn't tell me on that. Jen's going up as the Sluggers close in with their burners. Double shooters in support. Mech boy off the field though as we saw. In the mid, Gaius Baltar has got some aspiring champion heretics, more heretics, and some Chaos Space Marine. Just kind of hanging out here. Taking shots from a sentinel. West side is well turning uncapped. While these guardsmen grab the contested wreck point. On the power though are the orcs in the southeast. Natural power for red team. Double sentinels up for 24. Gonna come and lend a hand to the east side. Where not Conrad is. Who is it then? Timothy? One day he'll tell us. Heavy weapon squad coming up. They will start with a heavy bolter. There's Hammer of the Witches. Can it kill a slugger? Could not kill a slugger. It didn't drop a model in all of that. Rangers on the way for Asmandias now. And they have Guardian weapon team in play with a shuriken. Can suppress infantry in this firing arc. And the firing arc just ballooned out because of guide. Giving 30% damage and range. One of the starting abilities of the Farseer alongside her fleet of foot. CSM there have dropped a model. Catechon Devil's on the way for Nightmare. Spotters are up already for 24. And Conrad, sorry, not Conrad, I don't know who he is. Maybe it's Clive. With a heavy weapon squad. West side turns blue. Thanks to the Eldar, Chaos Lord more interested in his murderer. Gets pushed off of the HQ of uh, Nightmare though. Double CSM still in play. Sorry, two CSM models still in play, I should say. Double heretics still in play with aspiring champions. Catechons are in there. Get Doom Blasted. Didn't use their shotgun blast, I don't think. There it is. Heretics, you guys are going to be alright. Low in numbers, but I think they're making it. Perhaps Gaius Baltar should have just pulled back there to where Asmundeus was a line. Now it's 2v1 against him. Stomped. Can he get that Sentinel down low? Close. Sentinel does fall, so that's a good engagement in the end for Asmundeus, I believe. Farseer is already back at base. Chaos Lord there too. Mech Boy is very low. Has his big shooter and electric armor. And is able to escape. Noise Marines coming up here for Gaius Baltar. Spotters on the way for Nightmare. Has those catagens now. Very versatile squad that can fight in melee quite effectively. Disrupt and even support with a handy smoke grenade. They can also place an improvised explosive around his VP, maybe. Guardsman capping Western. And, oh, blue team having to get their natural back. Combi flame it in for the Chaos Lord. Was it the Inquisitor of 24 that ran through and got it, maybe? Servo Skull is in. 469 to 420 on the VPs. Double Sentinel trying to power bash. Not the best thing for them to be doing, but... It's applying pressure somewhere. They force off the rangers pretty quickly with those long rifles, thanks to the Pathfinder gear. Can easily outshoot those those guardians out of out of cover as well. Catechon's been aggressive, getting the shuriken out of there. 
fast here. Tries to punish them. Only one model falls though. There's Guide on the Guardians. Trying to focus down the Sentinel. There's nothing else to focus with. Hammer off the Witches and then follows up in melee. Does the Inquisitor of Nightmare. Gets a couple of models I think as well. Now we have Heretics with Grenade Launchers. And these fellas in melee mode with some corn Worship. For more speed in Gaius Baltar's army. If they're close enough of course. Noise Marine is doing their thing. That Sonic Blaster shuts down ranged attacks. And deals good damage to infantry. Also shakes apart structures such as power gens. So they'll be looking to get on it quite aggressively here. The Southwest Power. And there's steam rollering through. Chaos Lord is breaking stuff. Goes for the VP I think. Expected him to be leading the line while, while something else caps. Sentinels. Trying to get rid of those noise marines because they don't want them near the power. And they're doing some good damage. Still have that sonic blaster though of course. What's going on on the east side? Mech boy's fallen over. Not Conrad. Who is it? James? With a crossbow bolt pistol. Sluggers flee. Looks like power was hit though. Only two gens up here. Are they overextending to get these power bashes? I don't think so. I mean, they're losing boys here and there. Losing the mech boy sucks because you need to get somewhere over to revive, maybe. Farsi gets hammer of the witches on her face. And oh, these, these guys got grenaded over the uh, partition thing there, I think. That was a nasty grenade. Sentinels back off to their repair spots with those guardsmen hanging around. These guys need to take a better cover position. Spot a shell coming in. That disruption. Can't shoot back when you're flying through the air. Got a decent defensive position on the west side. CSM trying to cover this approach, but it just got shot up there. Guys, Baltar regroups. Could just put the Chaos Lord on ranged mode here and shoot with the Combi Bolter. But it's probably better to get him to run in and disrupt and uh, tie things up. All sorts of goings on as a smoke shell that went in from these spotters. Inquisitor in there. Chaos Lord tries to burn everything to death but gets shot to death by Laz Guns. Farseer should be able to revive him though. Falcon on the way for Asmundeus in tier 2. Double the spotters for Nightmare, hey? Trying to frustrate these ranged blobs. Heretics fighting an Inquisitor who eventually runs. Oh, there's the Catechins all reliable. It's such good disruption from like surprising range. Rangers dropping two models there. Can they get through onto the power? No, there's still double sentinels and a bunch of guardsmen in play as well as these double spotters here. These guys get in a tier 2 upgrade for the incendiary shell. Also buffs the damage of the basic mortar strike as well. 410 to 359. Mechboy still down on the eastern edge. Sluggers have their knob leader taking a strange route around this barricade. But they've made it onto the heavy weapon squad, but they get stopped. Missile launchers coming in. Up high 03. Maybe looking for a quick tier 3 uh, here, because I don't see anything on the way in tier 2. Mechboy's been repurchased. So no need to go revive him. And a Bane Wolf is in play. This thing is unique. To Inquisitors. Comes from a global bar. That chem cannon very effective against infantry. Also debuffs it while it's firing. And can just dissolve structures down. Such as power gens. It's looking to get onto this northwestern one I think. Heretics can't do much about it. But the Falcon can certainly do something about it. Support vehicle for Eldar. It can reinforce units off. And it has good weaponry on it for a transport vehicle. Can shoot down the Bane Wolf even. Although... Runs into double missile launcher sentinels with their crack missiles loaded in. Big threat to the Falcon. Big threat. Those heretics need to be repairing, I think. Falcon has made it away. Heretics repairing. Grenades. Chucked on the same spot, though. And there is an Inferno pistol. Another threat to that Falcon. Judgment up on those CSM and they're taking a beating from the sentinels. They have Marco Zinch now with Aspiring Champion. Is it worth the cost against Imperial Guard? I mean, very useful against these Sentinels, that's for sure. And they are being a pain in the ass. It's not like they're bad against Light Infantry, but typically seen as an overspend. Perhaps they expect Ogrins or Bullgrins. You never quite know in these games whether these, these guys may have been in a lobby together 
multiple times and I kind of know what to expect. Perhaps full power bash from the Bane Wolf, as expected. Once it gets there, it doesn't take long to do its job. Level 2 Inquisitor for 24. Nightmare level 3. Not Conrad, who is it then? Barney? He's down. We're trying to get excruciators going on. Every weapon squad with a shield up. Stormtroopers coming in here. Sneaky, sneaky. Another global for the Inquisitor. I mean, she's an Inquisitor. She can call stuff in. Get special access. Bunch of guardsmen were electrocuted. They didn't like it. Red team starting to push up the map, though, in a big wave, a big line of armor and las guns. Bane Wolf is their armor at the moment. Here comes Gaius Baltar with some fire. Armor of the Inferno scares off a bunch of guards when they do have the uh, Commissar fellas, though, so they can break that retreat. And they have done so. And now get to work with plasma guns. Are they retreating again? The chem cannon does its slowing shot there. Area of effect slows things to a crawl. Slug is trying to get through. Very messy fight going on. Marcus Zint CSM, what are you guys going to shoot at? Maybe the Inquisitors, if the Sentinels aren't around. That's pretty good against heroes, Marcus Zint stuff. Uh-oh, Laz kind of now getting shots on the Falcon. From way right back there, needs to move up now though. And the Farseer with the Doombringer. Rune armor as well. Double commandos in tier 3 for up, up high dial 3. They did straight go. Straight go? Go straight to tier 3. Oh, they got a full power bash here, look. Wasn't even paying attention. The Bane Wolf did its thing again. And they've actually protected their power decently well. At least over here they have. I think this one's been bashed, yeah. Been bashed probably more than once. Looks like there's a bunker up. That's a global ability that all Imperial Guard heroes have. Inquisitor has judgment on something. That's what their yellow mark is, but I don't know what. Can we spot it? Nope. 410 to 229. A big VP lead for the blue team. But the red team have been creeping forward, haven't they, in terms of combat effectiveness and getting the best of the engagements, I think. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Because up high Dow 3 now has the double commandos online. And guys, Baltar just hit tier 3. Well, almost about to hit tier 3. Not Conrad. I don't know who it is. Maybe it's Philip. Has also gone tier 3. Blastmasters sent back in. Nothing else here can really threaten the Bane Wolf. Let the gun actually burn. Those guys will probably break that retreat. That was a big hit, though. Ouch. Was that Crippling Volley? What was that? I don't know what that was. It looked like Crippling Volley went off, but... These Inquisitors don't have that weapon. Oh, maybe that was that the uh, Servo Skulls or Spec Scan going off? Looked like it stopped them in their tracks. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Probably am. Plague Marines coming up for Gaius Baltar. In Tier 3. Ghost Tier 3 gets Plague Marines. Could have gotten them up quicker. Going to see if another full power bash here, I think. It's Bane Wolf doing huge amounts of work. Someone said in the chat, get AV or something. I, I did, just saw the end of it there. Oh, we have a fusion gun autark for Asmondeus. That's anti-vehicle. Does her little jump thing, which gives a weapon damage buff and a little speed buff. Inquisitor gets shot to death, maybe? Perhaps? Yes. Smoke chill in there really messed with that offensive from Asmondeus. That's a lot of reinforcing to do. Hell Fury dropped in, killed the Guardian squad. And they're going to finish their full power bash. Asmondeus last in his allies to get some AV. But they've got Plague Marines in now. If a missile launcher that snares targets. Very, very useful. Gets a decent shot there. And there's some corn worship. Can they get another? They can't. He's shy, that guy. He was hiding behind a wall. Falcon still around. Up high dial 3 now. Now with a knob squad coming out swinging in tier 3. Double commandos into a knob squad pretty quickly. That was excruciators on those guys. Crossbow bolt pistol is here. 
and there's some fire. Because of course there is. It's, it's the grim darkness of the far future. Bane Wolf level 3, still done a fantastic job. Well played, 24. He's used that thing very well, kept it out of trouble. Cash looking on the field for not Conrad. Who the heck is it? Maybe it's Fred. Hanging out near the bunker over there. Got some more corn worship. Helps you reposition when you've got a bad engagement coming in. Level 3 Inquisitor. Just getting vision for stuff here, I think. Can drop in some incendiary shells and a smoke shell to shut down that noise marine. Or maybe not. Does not care about your smoke, apparently. I think that's something that's kind of a little bug or weirdness that goes on with plasma cannons and blast masters. I don't get affected by that stuck kind of stuff for some reason. Autark, go. Uh oh, shotguns coming in. There's Doombringer casting Doom on the Katachan Devils. Still can't deal with this Bane Wolf. Where are the Plague Marines at? Oh, they're trying to cap. Need to get those guys shooting. Couldn't manage it. They retreated. Are those heretics all right? I think they're okay. Red team able to stick it out in these fights quite well. They are getting pushed on this side by up high Dow 3. These commandos doing some work over here. Might get a full power bash, actually. I think they will. And more commandos here. And their knob leaders do have anti-vehicle rocket launchers. And the knob squad can also tear apart a Bane Wolf pretty nicely. And dodged the chem cannon thing there. I always forget what his name is. Frenzy is popped. Not going after the Bane Wolf. They're actually headbutting those Kastrakin at the moment. Kastrakin are quite a high value target. Hatachun Devils came in with a shotgun blast. I think those that knob squad could have stayed in play there, you know. And gone after the Bane Wolf. They still had all five models. Hammers in play. There was a lot arrayed against them there. 4-10 to 1-5-4. Still a big VP lead for the blue team. Red team have kind of abandoned the west side somewhat. Pushing mid and east. Trying to get that decisive engagement where they can sweep through. These guys pushing for a power bash. Where's the commando's rocket launcher? Oh, these guys are retreating. These guys are getting their knob leader. Those missiles are nasty though from the Sentinels, eh? 24 doing an amazing job. Managing two Sentinels and a Bane Wolf and a bunch of infantry. Let the guys see burn. Nice flank from Gaius Baltar, perhaps. Chem Cannon does its thing again. Knob Squad charging in. Electric armor as well. What are Plague Marines doing? Got to shoot at a Bane Wolf. Very strange behavior. I don't think they got one shot there, did they? Maybe Gaius Boltar was looking elsewhere. Maybe at this stuff. Falcon now has a shield up in Tier 3. Makes it actually quite a durable vehicle. Oh, and Ob Squad giving it up again. Commander not going through. Chaos Lord is down. Plague Marines almost got wiped there. Had to run back. Bunch of Chaos stuff got inside the Falcon. Okay. 4-10 to 1-0-5. Altart gets her little jumpy healy thing going. What is that ability called? No idea. Is it just leap or something? D cannon on the west side. Big artillery piece for the Eldar. Can you get a shot on those guys before they force it off? Oh, they look like they're going to stand there and cap, which I don't think they should do. They should have disrupted it and then gone and meleeed it. Although they have gone infiltrated now anyway, but Asmon could force target there. Doom is in. Couldn't quite get the shot, though. And artillery spotters try to shut it down. But it didn't seem to work. 4-10 to 87. Down to 87 VPs, this red team. But they're starting to get heavy-hitting, super-heavy tanks up. Baneblade and a Stormlord on the way. Chaos Predator on the way for Gaius Baltar, too. Blue team trying to get that Western VP. And they have it. That one mar Chaos Marine stayed close enough to get it. Falcon. Going to get some damage in on the Bane Wolf. Not going to be a huge amount though. Where are those Plague Marines? They are back at base still. Seems to want to fully reinforce them. Should get them back out here. 
because they could reinforce off the Falcon. That's a pretty good Imperial Abyss, though, followed up by a rocket run. Almost wiped the Noise Marines. I think it maybe wiped some Eldar stuff. Couple of decent nukes. I'm not sure if it wiped anything. I think Gaius Balta lost some heretics in it. Did Asmon lose something? Had a shuriken at some point, right? 410 to 55, a single cap for blue. And look at this mech boy. Gonna get them a double. There it is. And commandos can maybe finally finish off that Bane Wolf. Bane Wolf is down. Heroic Bane Wolf, though, did huge amounts of work and now comes rolling out a Stormlord. This is your anti infantry super heavy tank with a Vulcan Mega Bolter on the front. You can also reinforce infantry off this thing and they can jump inside of it too. And here's your Bane Blade, your kind of generalist super heavy tank. Good against all targets, pretty much. Big old mega battle cannon on the top and a demolisher for disruption. A few heavy bolters as well. But they've got 32 VPs, the red team. Inquisition in trouble. And what is this? A Stormlord from Not Conrad. Who is it? Brian? I can't select. There we go. On the east side and down. He could be Brian. Maybe it's Brian. Dave? Hey, I stored. What level are you? Level 2. Come on now. Plague Marines behind heavy cover. Getting damage on the Stormlord. Chaos Predators with the Mark of Corn helping out too. It's a build you'll usually see from Gaius Poltar. Loves to get Plague Marines into a corn, corn tank. As Vandeus now with a Seer Council on the way. And those guys can get heavy metal weapons now. Not sure if that Inquisitor on the Eastern Edge is going to get a revive anytime soon. Though They seem kind of busy, the other Inquisitors. You know being inquisitive elsewhere. Baneblade gets time fielded and backs off. Plague Marines able to get many, many shots onto the big old Storm Lord. Uh oh. Melter Bomb on the Chaos Predator and double Sentinels come in. I think they're going to get it. They do get it. Down goes the Chaos Pred. One of the Sentinels did go down though. Oh, Plague Marines, did they retreat too late? They seem to be trying to chase the uh, Sentinel there. They did get away. They did get away. Where is um, up high with that Knob Squad? Oh, they're capping the natural VP. Knob Squad is there, and they will demolish that tank, especially if they get onto rear armor. Those huge jammers. But they have to get through three Inquisitors, which may not be easy. We have Crippling Volley and Assail just on... Not Conrad's Inquisitor. I don't know who it is. Maybe it's Jeffrey. And Pergatus here. Anything else they'd need to watch out for? Catechons could disrupt them as well. Here comes Kasukin for Nightmare. Down to 32 VPs. 2 to 1 cap is in. Two super heavy tanks on the Western VP. Seer Council have their fancy spears. They got that D cannon as well. Could try and get fire dragons roaming around with far seer buffs alongside Seer Council buffs and Autark buffs. They'd be very good. Very good. That's what I think Asmondeus should do. Go fire dragons. Maybe Wraith Guard as well. Wraith Guard. With far seer buffs. 344 four to 32. On the VPs. There's a sail on the slugger, so they run. Looks like they're gearing up for a push on the west side, are they? Guys, Baltar needs more stuff on the field. Is it worth just getting more plague marines? It may, be, may just be worth, worth getting a last cannon havoc squad and putting it on this west side, eh? I don't think. I think that's pretty good value for money right there. Hail's Lord gets around. That's a singularity, I think. Drags in some stuff and there's some fire too. Chaos Lord had to give up all of his health to do that though. Not sure if he's going to make it out. He's trying to. Four hit points does go down. Rocket run. No, that's a Hell Fury. I saw, I saw the Valkyrie come in. Seer Council are on the Storm Lord. Ortox also getting shots in and this thing's getting torn apart. 
Plague Marines also coming in from the flank and they get it down. Last Master with some friendly fire. See a council running it off, running off now. Did an amazing job. Got a big chunk of XP. Or Tuck still doing work as well. Plague Marines now moving up to get shots on the Bane Blade. Or Tuck still here. Falcon staying back for now. There is another Storm Lord in the mid. It's also taken a bunch of damage. Sentinel on decapping duty. Sluggers have trapped it. And down it goes. That must have been satisfying for up high Dell 3. Not Conrad. Maybe it's Greg. Has only got two units on the field at the moment. They are Kashikin and Stormtroopers. Rocket run. Is it going to wipe the D cannon? It does wipe the D cannon. D cannon is gone. Rocks dropped in. A weird spot. It was like on the remains of the uh, Stormlord. Maybe expecting the Bane Blade to go that way. But it survives. Were, were they just aiming for infantry there? Asmodeus is able to drop an Eldritch Storm. And if they need to, they may not need to because this thing's quite heavily damaged. But they can use that to get it down, I think. Alongside their Seer Council. Sneaky Commandos. Doing rockety things and here comes the Knob Squad. Can they stop them? Pergatus comes in and stops them. They run away. Demon Russ is up for not Cronrad. Maybe it's Gregory. With a Vanquisher up. 317 to 22 on the VP. Is they holding on? I was going Fire Prism. Asmundeus. Wants those long range shots, I guess. Where's the Seer Council? They are running up. A sail on the on the far side and gets shot by a Bane Blade. How has she survived that? She's fine. Yeah, never mind, Bane Blade. I'll leave. Inquisitor of 24 gets a crossbow bolt pistol. More things to frustrate that knob squad, eh? And Mechboy's down. Not sure if he has the battery pack or anything. Have another Chaos Predator. Another Mark of Corn one. Which is just faster with better weapons, basically. Hey, Marines going to trade some shots. No, they're not. They get crippling volley. There we go. They are close enough to shoot. Those guys are repairing. We have a bunker as well. Looks like it's a medical bunker. Because these guys have health regen, which means they can reinforce. Seer Council trying to come in from an angle. Poor Tark having to run. And there's a sail to frustrate the Seer Council now. Having to run. How are they going to get infantry through three Inquisitors? But there's two on the west side. Both have Excruciators. And one of them has Crossbow Bolt Pistol too. And the other one can kill you pretty good with Inferno Pistol. 269 to 22. Can the red team hold the line? They have a 2 to 1 cap. Farsi with a time field. Tries to get a cap with it. Oh, Eldritch goes in. There's nothing to follow it up, though. Should have done that when the Seer Council were running, surely. Every weapon squad, I think, gets away. CSM trying to get a decap. Don't think it's a good idea, fellas. They really wanted that decap, but they just turned into mulch. 250 to 22, and look at this. It's Kasakin on the cap. They are fast capping units as well. I think they need their sergeant to be fast capping, don't they? But there he is. Sluggers were not happy. Sluggers are level 4. Double commandos and the knob squad make their way out of base. Are they just going to go through the mid for this? Maybe. Yeah, I think if they had double fire dragons here, they'd kind of overwhelm how much stuff those Inquisitors could stop. Orc revive. Those Chaos Lords down and the Mech Boys down. And not Conrad is down, but here's the revive. Who is it? Maybe it's Victor. How's this Lehman Rust doing? It's got some XP. See your council. Oh, they get suppressed by the Storm Lord. There's another time field. Mech boy will get revived. Needs to get the beam of death gun, surely. That fella. Power bashing orcs on the eastern edge. Mech boy runs. Vortok sprints off as well, but she's not. Look how quick she is. Level 5 Farsia. Eh? Might be worth getting spirit stones to heal those seer council up when they inevitably get a sail on them or whatever. 
Mass PM. Asking for Mass Plague Marines. Only one up at the moment. Another Lehman Russ on the way from not Conrad. Maybe it's Alex. Here comes a bunch of walks. Pergatus though is there. Nob Squad have to run. They had a bunch of plasma on them. Commandos. Hell Fury comes in. It's been very tough for those orcs to do their thing, isn't it? 24 has been very good. Being in the right place at the right time to get those abilities off. And they've timed them well. Plague Marines white. Imperial Abyss is not a very good one. Imperial Abyss doing basically nothing there. Maybe killed a Kassikin model. 174, 22, 2 to 1 cap for the red team. But Eldar are off on the Western VP. There's a time field. And there's the Autark doing her thing. Great timing on that leap there. Giving a speed bonus to the Seer Council and a weapon damage bonus. You see the Farseer going after infantry because her Doombringer is not effective against vehicles. But there's the Assail. Assail came in there from Nightmare. Only got a decap as well. Fire Prism getting hunted by Lehman Russ. That thing, that shot hit, a, hit an object though. Yeah, I think double Wraith Guard or double Fire Dragons would have been better over here. And I don't think Gaius Baltar should have got that other tank either. Another Laz Cannon on this side would have been great. All just more Plague Marines, but now they're down to zero Plague Marines. It's very difficult to out-vehicle the Guard because they can repair better than you and just get better tanks than you, basically. Not Conrad. Maybe it's Ben. Has double Lehman Russes now with Vanquisher. Fire Prism did not survive. Falcon has survived. For now. There's a time field and here come the Seer Council. Is that tank too close? There's Doom on the Lehman Russ as well. Assail comes in though again. Clutch from Nightmare level 8 Inquisitor. And there's a Demolisher Cannon too. They just can't get in. Need to overwhelm with a huge amount of infantry I think. So they can't do that on everything. They can assail twice and crippling volley though. Oh hey. The Stormlord is down. What is it doing here? Well it's down. That was 24 Stormlord. I don't know what they pushed it up so far. That was hugely risky. Manticore on the back. Double Manticores on the field for 24. They've got their hands on one of the Inquisitors, those knobs. Must be very annoyed at them. Having to retreat though, Catechon's coming in clutch there with a shotgun blast. 116 to 22. Big push through the mid, maybe? That's a repair bunker. That's a medical bunker. Because they've got this pretty well stabilized over here, the guard. Pretty well stabilized. Oh, Inquisitor was here too, went down. Avatar of Cain coming in for Asmundeus. That's one way to ignore any of the crud that Inquisitors can do. Get an avatar of a war god. 97 to 22. More commandos up high. Where did he get knocked over by? Oh, these guys have grenade launchers. That guy in particular is having a rough time. And he's got the missile launcher. Last Master gets a solid hit though. Yeah, this tank not wanted to get too close to the Demon Russ, I think. Good rear armor hit there by the Blast Master. Gets disrupted by the Catechins. That shot seemed to misfire there, did nothing. 79 to 22. It's some brave guardians on the VP. So is the Farseer, I think. Avatar moving on up. Autark is in there. Seer Council get assailed again. And have to retreat again. They are taking a lot of attention away from other stuff. But there's not, just not that much other stuff to get these big vehicles down. But now there is. There's an avatar. I don't think it can go in alone though. 74 to 22. Can up high do something through the mid. I mean they have triple commandos and a knob squad. You'd think they could get something going through the mid. But 24 has been very solid through here. Lost that storm lord. But otherwise... Very solid. Level 8, almost level 9 Inquisitor. Repair Bunker repairs up those Lehman Russes again. Very difficult to deal with this. Bunch of vehicles supported by Repair Bunkers and Infantry. And those Inquisitors too.
But we'll see. They can stop the Seer Council with an assail, but the Avatar will not care. And it will be buffing them. Maybe if the Falcon dared to get closer, so they could reinforce, but there's double Lehman Russes there with Vanquish is probably not a good idea. Not to mention the Bane Blade, you know? Kasakin looking for a cap, I'm sure. They're going to find double commandos and sluggers. Looks like those shooter boys are on permanent defensive duty. Kasakin going for decap here. Commandos open up with Love the Daka and a bunch of orky firepower. Kicking off on the west side. Yes, it is. Plague Marines looking for a decap. Getting shot to pieces, though. And our Chaos Pred goes down. Plague Marines run. Avatar is in there. Wailing Doom. And a Time Field and Imperial Abyss. Straight again. Strange place to put a nuke. Expecting the Bane Blade to go that way, maybe. Rocket run. Did it wipe something? It may have wiped some Guardians there. Seer Council are on the cap. And it's decap at least. Manticore Strike goes in. Avatar still giving chase, taking a bunch of damage doing so though. There's the uh, there's some Plague Marines. Get a decent rear arm hit. And the Plague Marines get assailed now. Ortark comes in to try and help them. Avatar should maybe go wailing on that Inquisitor. And does. Get those Inquisitors, Inquisitors down. It'll be a lot easier for you. Down to 10 VPs, the blue team. But they have a single cap. Up high, gets through the mid here. Needs to be capping though. There we go. What happened? Was it a rocket run? I think it was a rocket run. Does have the battery pack, by the way. Does not have the beamy. Knob squad ran all the way through. Now they're running back. They're still in play though. 10 to 9. On the VPs. There's the one-to-one -one cat. It's so close. Red team get the Western VP back. Quick capping commandos. Are they not capping though? Knob squad soaking up huge amounts. Having to run. Can the commandos get this? Oh no, Manticore's coming in. More commandos moving up though. Plasma gun, Kasukin in play. What is this? That's the downed Chaos Lord. Another D cannon up for Asmodeus. Avatar needs to heal. See a council come back in for another shot. Getting infiltrated by the Farseer's webway gate there. Level 6 Farseer. Oh, does have spirit stones now. For spiritual rights. Needs to run in, run in to do it. There it is. But then they have to tank a rocket run. Ouch, ouch, ouch. They're reinforcing off the Falcon, but they're having to run. And the Farseer went down. 10 to 9 it is. Guys, Baltar down to three units. Not Conrad, says GG. I don't know who said that. It wasn't Conrad. Was it Frank? Nightmare, says GG. Because they have the two to one. GG indeed. Down to nine VPs. The Imperial Guard hold the line. Awesome stuff. Farseer was level six. The Chaos Lord, level three. Still had Combi Flamer at the end. Mech Boy, level seven. With his army of boys. Nightmares Inquisitor level 9. 24 is level 9. And not Conrad, don't know who it is, was level 8. Awesome stuff. The Inquisitors were great in this. Thank you all guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see ya next time.